Kelly, this is going to be a big segment. So everyone, have you ever wondered how changes in tax policies could impact your hard-earned savings and investments, or even the cottage that's been in your family for generations? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today we're diving into the proposed changes to Canada's capital gains tax and its potential impact on all of us. So here to break it down is financial commentator and our friend, Patty Lovett reed Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we uh, there's a lot of confusion around this. So let's mm -hmm. talk big picture first. The federal government claims that 99.87% of Canadians actually won't be affected by the capital gains, the proposed changes. So do you agree <sighs> with that? You want me to stand right here and say, no, I disagree? <laughs> yes. um, okay, I kind of do. Okay. Yeah, I kind of oh. do disagree. You know, um, what we do know is that there are about 28 million Canadians who will not have any capital gains, so they will not be impacted. About 3 million will have under 250,000. But I think when you stand back and you look at the big picture, it's what it does to our landscape here in Canada, because all of a sudden tax rules are changing. Do businesses want to start here in Canada? Um, when you have inheritance from one generation to the next, if it's not going to the spouse, it's going to be taxed. People have a second, a second home, sometimes a cottage. They're going to be impacted. So it is a much bigger deal to a lot of households than simply Mm, it's just a tax on the wealthy. It is more than that. Okay. All right, so let's start with the basics. What are capital gains and how are they taxed in Canada? A capital gain is the difference between what you purchase an asset at. It could be a stock, it could be a cottage, mm -hmm. and what you dispose of it at. Mm -hmm. And so, and then there's something called the adjusted cost base, and that's where you can put some of the expenses to take down the price of it. I'll make it easy. A $2,000 stock you're selling today, you bought it for 1000 Right now, you pay capital gains on 50%, so $500. You pay gas. So at your tar the cap capital gains right. amount, you would pay a tax right. on that. Right, half. and it's at your top marginal tax rate. So having something that has a capital gain is very advantageous mm -hmm. today. That's going to change mm -hmm. June 25th. Mm. Okay, so let's talk mm -hmm. about what is happening on June the 25th. Mm -hmm. June 25th, if you're a corporation or a trust, and you could be a small business owner who's incorporated, you automatically on capital gains, and there is a lifetime capital gain exemption. Not everybody will qualify at about 1.25 million proposed. But you will go from 50% to 66.67%. So you're only getting the difference between that and 100, you know, tax-free. You're paying a lot more in taxes. Individuals will now have on the first 250,000 50% they pay tax in a capital gain, and amounts above that, you go to 66.67%. So um, let me give you, an, I'll give you an example. I'm sort of doing the numbers here, but if I, if I think about it, if you bought a second home, a cottage for 100,000, you're gonna sell it and it's worth 1.1 million. You're in Ontario. The difference in tax to you as of June 25th is you'll pay $77,000 more in taxes. Wow. And so that is a lot of money for a lot of households who maybe have had the cottage in the family for, for decades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so some cottage owners are panicked by this and they're they wondering are. if they should just try to sell their property before <laughs> June 25th. Yeah. The time is clicking. Um, uh, my should... cottage is up for sale. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to know. Truthfully, it is. But, but I didn't do it because of taxes. Okay. okay. Uh, because um, we wanted to move closer to our children, for our family. So for reasons beyond financial that are tax related. Um, it's very difficult to sell a piece of real estate between now and June 25th. Yeah. Um, so I think taxes should always be secondary. But here's what I will tell you. It is a little interesting to note that they push this out to June 25th. And some might argue that over the next four years, they say that they will save $19.4 billion with this tax that the government can divert to other things. But they're pulling it forward. So if people are looking at their portfolios and saying, let's cash it in today, you know, it goes to this government today, not mm. necessarily a different government tomorrow. Did that make sense? Yeah, yeah I think it makes so. sense. Yeah, okay. All right, well, the Canadian Medical Association is also quite concerned because they're saying that the proposed increase will pose a significant financial hit yes, to they doctors. Are. Yes. So can you explain how it's going to affect doctors? Well, doctors typically do not have a pension plan. Uh, they can incorporate uh, a personal pension plan, administration fees, they can set that up. But uh, they're 
typically incorporated. So effective June 25th, their tax rate goes to 67.67%. And if you look at healthcare here in Canada, mm -hmm. um, acquiring new talent to go into that field and you know retention has been a challenge. Mm -hmm. Small business owners, people wanting to invest and grow their businesses, they say, the tax laws keep changing. I don't wanna do it here. So it can be frustrating. That's why they're angry. Okay. Let's talk about inheritance. We mentioned this yes. off the top. Um, we have baby boomers, and there's going to be a massive um, transference of wealth from one generation down to another generation. How does the new capital gains affect inheritance? Well, if it's from one spouse to the next, it just rolls over, and it's not an issue. But uh, in our household, husband, wife, Yep, that's the right way to do it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> and we have four children. Mm -hmm. And so um, ultimately when money is passed down to them, if we don't make provisions in our estate to cover the taxes, they will be covering the taxes. They are going to be getting less unless we decide to gift it today mm -hmm. or the estate pay pays. But even if the estate pays, that means there's less for them down the road. So yes, it definitely impacts, which is back to your original <sighs> question, you know, is it gonna have a bigger impact on more people? And I think ultimately, yes, it does. Wow. wow. Uh, Patty, thank you so much for stopping thank me by with such important information. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We were all blown away. Thanks for keeping us in Florida. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.